Hi, and welcome to Chris Ryan Golf. You've joined me at the Belfry today. We are in the Talema Performance Center, and we are gonna give you a really, really good downswing drill to help you get the club in a much better delivery position, which is gonna help you hit better shots on the golf course. We are talking about the angle of the golf club as we swing down. Okay, so we have to have, or we will have this golf club on an angle through the swing. Now, for many of you, the angle that the golf club is on will be changeable. For many of you, maybe with a better golf swing, it will be a little bit more consistent. But we can basically have the golf club on, on different angles. So this would be classed as quite a steep angle where the club shaft is quite vertical. And this we would class as, as a lower angle, a little bit of a flatter angle where you can see how the club shaft is a little bit more horizontal. We will get some golfers who move outside of those parameters. So some golfers will get the club a little bit this side of vertical. But most of you will find that you're somewhere in this spectrum of, of positions that we're looking at. Now, what we would tend to see is golfers maybe do or get the golf club angle wrong during the downswing. This is a very, very good drill to start to understand maybe what you should be doing and to get the right feels. So we would tend to see, and I'm being a little bit more general here, this is not every single golfer, we would tend to see the better golfers as they, trans uh, as they move from backswing to downswing, they would tend to lay the club down a little bit, so flatten the golf club, move it towards a more horizontal position. They will never get there, but the feel, or what we would tend to see is that from the top, they would tend to lay the club down and flatten it slightly. Now, when we look at golfers that we teach, we tend to see this lowering of the golf club maybe happening too late or maybe not at all. So really, really common is for golfers to maybe from the top and as they start down they begin to steepen the club shaft so this will be many of you out there we can see how the golf club is much steeper and as i continue to swing through i'm going to get very very steep i will probably at some point try and flatten it but that flattening movement comes way way too late i never quite get that club into the right position some of the golfers and these are often the ones who get that club a little bit across the line at the top they will find that they lay the club down or they flatten the golf club but when they flatten it, it happens a little bit too late and they get themselves into this position where the golf club is too far behind the hands and that golf will often struggle with pushes and hooks. So really two categories, there are obviously more out there, but we'd often see the golfer who is way too steep this way, they therefore can't get the club into a good position or golfers who lay the club down far too late into the downswing and then they can't recover it from there and they often hit pushes and hooks. What I want you to do, Take a golf club, and I also want you to take one of these. This is an alignment stick, okay? Something like this would be ideal, and you're going to hold this alignment stick alongside the golf club. So it's going to provide, it's going to be an extension of the golf club, okay? You can see that there. I want to take my starting position, and you can see there that I've got a ball to target line, okay? Obviously, I haven't got a target in that distance, but you can imagine where my target would be. That line, I want you to imagine, extends indefinitely this way and indefinitely this way. So, what I want you to try and do, I want you to feel that you golf, you make your backswing up to the top, okay? I want you to feel that as you begin down, you start to lay the club off a little bit, flatten the plane, or flatten the shaft angle, I should say, and get that stick pointing a little bit more outside the target line, okay? So I'll do that again for you. So I'm gonna go up to the top, no different, and as I start down, I want to feel like I point that golf club more outside the target line, okay? Once I've made that move, I do not want to keep making that move. I do not want to keep doing this, okay? That's incorrect. I want you to feel that from the top, there is a little bit of a lay down of the club shaft, okay? As we do that, we can see that the golf, the grip end points outside the target line. From here, I want to try and feel now that when I reach last parallel, the golf club is back parallel to the ball's target line. Okay, so this would be a very, very good delivery position for me to be in, okay? So, do that once more for you, up to the top. I feel like I lay the club down a little bit, okay? From here, I work the hands back in front, and as I approach last parallel, we can see how the golf club is now parallel to the ball to target line. I can go ahead and feel like I move the golf club into the impact area and go through. You can't swing through fully because this is in the way, but you can get the idea. So those of you who are struggling, you may well find that naturally you would be a little bit across the line and you would feel that when you get that grip outside the target line, it's far too late into the downswing. As we said before, I now can't really recover this position. I'm going to find that my path is out to the right. I'm going to try and flip the club face to get that ball to finish somewhere near target and it's going to be more difficult. 
Other golfers out there, the steeper golfers on the way down are gonna find that you really struggle to get that grip pointing outside the target line at all. Okay, so this is gonna be a certainly different feeling for you. Your golf swing would be one where you try and get that outside the target line far too late in the golf swing and you can never really manage it. So let me just go through the good one again. Backswing, lay the club off a little bit, work the hands back in front here, and then at last parallel, I wanna still feel that the golf club is nice and parallel to my board to target line, and then move into an impact position. This would be a really good feeling for you. It's much, much easier game to play from a slightly lower shaft angle than a slightly steeper shaft angle. If we can move golfers to a slightly lower angle earlier in the downswing, that's the key thing, earlier in the downswing, that's generally gonna make the game a little bit easier and it's gonna give you better control over how you deliver the golf club and how you deliver the face angle, okay? Let me hit a shot for you. Uh, this is something I'm certainly working on because if you see me other videos, you'll probably notice I tend to get a little bit across the line. So it's a little bit steep. As I come down, I do lay the club down, but I lay it down a little bit too late and that's why I struggle with path issues. I tend to hit draws and push shots and hook shots if I'm not on my game. So this is something I'm working towards and Last couple of weeks, it has appeared to look a little bit better and my ball flight has certainly reflected that. So let's hit a couple of shots and see how we get on. That was pretty good for me. That actually had a little fade on it, which is certainly what I'm working towards. So that would give me some real good indications there, the ball flight would, that I actually produce what I'm trying to produce. I want to feel like I'm flatter earlier and I'm steeper as I approach the ball. That's certainly what I'm working towards. So let me show another one for you. And again, pretty good swing there. Not quite as good as the previous one. So really good drill. You just need your golf club, you need an alignment stick, and you can start to work on those positions, those feels. And as I say, if you're falling into one of the categories we spoke about earlier, it's certainly gonna be a different position, certainly a different feel for you. You may well feel it's a little bit different in this lead wrist. Okay, that's really quite important. So give the drill a go. Post your comments down below. It'd be interested to get your feedback. Um, like button down there. So if you did like the video, please click on that. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Subscription is free. It just means you'll get an update every time I post a video. And it means that you won't miss any of the content. Okay. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you again next time.